Hallo und herzlich willkommen auf dem YouTube-Kanal der Gottswill Tirol, der Freikirche in Telfs. Wir wollen dich mit der folgenden Botschaft segnen und würden uns freuen, wenn du dich bei uns auf der Facebook-Seite oder auf der Webseite hineinklickst. Gottes Segen. Good morning, everybody. Do you feel joy in the heart? Yes. Give me an Amen. I have to start with a special prophecy. I have to start with a special prophecy because years ago there were two or three, I think, prof prophets. They told me that I will come to a place where the roads are not good, where you have to drive a whole day, where it's windy, where it's windy, and where it's a little bit cold, where it's, where it's a little bit cold, and uh, of course uh, we are in Africa. I never expected that it can be cold in Africa. And it took me years to come here. And the prophet said, you will preach there. And the people are hungry for God here. So are you hungry today? Are you hungry today for the word of God? So you are right here. And before we start, I want to thank you, Pastor, to for the introduction prayer. Because I really feel that we are in a fight. Not in a fight in person, but in a fight spiritually. And when Franz said Jesus comes upon him or next to him, I saw the different thing. The enemy is fleeing. The enemy is not here anymore. The devil is not here anymore. Let's make room, make space for Jesus today. We make space for the Holy Spirit today. Because when Jesus is here, he always has a helper with him. The helper is the Holy Spirit. So be prepared. Be prepared that the Holy Spirit is moving here in this area. And my prayer is that everybody who is on the way to come here in these difficult streets will be blessed when he will hear the word of God outside. And when we preach here and we talk about God, 
the word of God not only reach you here I trust the Lord that the word of God is listened outside everywhere where the people call on Jesus where the people wants to receive Jesus in the whole area there will be a change because the enemy is defeated thank you that you are here I really appreciate that I just take the opportunity to introduce me one more time because not everybody I saw yesterday I am Pastor Simon and I am I come from the mountains in Austria and there it's already cold and wet that's cold and wet there wet weather so I'm really happy to be in a sunny country now and I am a living testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ I told you yesterday I was not able to breathe as a child the machines keep me alive but Jesus has a plan for my life and whatever he can do with my life he can do with your life too and he will do that so wherever you have problems shout out to Jesus and be ready to give all the suffering him today the doctor said that I only will be live for two years and I, and I already said it I'm 38 years now I'm still alive and I will not stop to preach the word of God until, until he calls me back and of course I wasn't able to walk I wasn't able to walk you see I have still problems but the wheelchair was ordered but when I turned three years or uh, three years of age God gave me the power to stand up and walk thank you Jesus so it's not too late for a miracle for you and I trust whenever I'm preaching miracles come along so be, be ready to receive that because I'm not the Lord but the Lord wants you to heal you he wants to strengthen you he wants to give you something our Lord is a good Lord he is a good father and I just want to say we have different mothers but we have own father we have one father together our Lord in heaven is our father so welcome to my family here 
And thank you that I can be a part of your family too. Amen. 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 Are you still awake? Yes. Are you here? Yes. Praise the Lord! Thank you. Yes. May be seated. Yes. So, <clears throat> yesterday, we talked about suffering a lot. We talked about problems and we talked about the focus that we have to look up when problems come because down is the devil i just want to repeat that one one more time when you have problems, when, you ha when you're suffering a lot, don't do the mistake to look down. Jesus is in heaven. You can look up to Jesus. You can look up to Jesus. He is the help in that time. And of course, we don't we, we can't forget somebody if you accepted Jesus in your life then you have another person as a helper there is the Holy Spirit in you so you can look up to Jesus when you have problems and you also can can feel it here because the Holy Spirit is in your heart it, it's the Spirit of God and whenever you have problems ask the Spirit of God what to do and today we want to go a little bit deeper in the preaching of yesterday but we are not talking about problems anymore because we left problems yesterday behind us problems are defeated problems are defeated why because of jesus on the cross for everybody who accept jesus as the personal savior god sends his son to the cross to yeah to give us eternal life and to to carry all our sins to carry all our problems to carry everything who is not from the lord in person so everything is over suffering is over and you can you can focus on Jesus and the Holy Spirit when problems coming back because problems are defeated I know in the Bible there is no no verse about life is easy we all, we all have problems we all have troubles but when we focus on the cross jesus blood, the blood of jesus is sufficient the blood of jesus 
is enough for everybody here and for everybody who accepts Jesus in the future everything is paid everything is paid so I want to ask you something I want to ask you that Jesus have to be your doctor now your doctor now yes it it doesn't mean that you not taking pills or something when the doctor said please uh, take that it's get, it's getting better yes because Jesus yes God um, set, the, set, set the doctors in that shop to help people. But we have another kind of kind of medicine. It's the blood of Jesus. And I I just suggest to you. I suggest to you today that you use the blood of Jesus daily. I don't know if you know Reinhard Bonk. It's an evangelist from Germany. He ministers a lot in Nigeria and African countries. And he was invited to a TV show in America. And he said, um, and he said, why are I going to go there to, to an interview or something? He said, why I have to go there? There was another person there, a professor, a teacher, well known in that country. And he asked Reinhard Bonke, why you preach the power of the, of the blood of Jesus? I don't, I don't think that that work out with the blood of Jesus. And Reinhard Bonke is always, always in charge to preach. So he answered, uh, I can give you the answer why the blood of Jesus is important. So, um, he said, "Oh, I just wanna, just wanna uh, give you one, one more what the people, what the professor said, who uh, not believe in, believe in the blood of Jesus." He said, "Look, the blood of Jesus is." is now more than 2,000 years in the world. And people are suffering still. They have still problems. So I think the blood of Jesus don't work. And Reinhard Bonke asked, uh, answered one thing. And I really love that. He said, there is also so much soap in the world. But the people and the environment is still dirty. It don't help. It don't help to let the soap here next to you. I have some soap in the hotel in Wingi. But if I don't use the soap, I'm not clean. 
So you have to use the blood of Jesus that you are clean every day. Give the enemy, give the devil no chance to make you dirty anymore. Use the blood of Jesus daily and let you wash from Jesus. Every morning when you pray, ask Jesus that he washes you completely and you will be clean and no, no attack from the enemy and the devil can reach you every attack go back to the sender in the name of Jesus and I pray that the whole people here and the whole area will be washed with the blood of Jesus now in the name of Jesus thank you Lord what a start the blood of Jesus is an instrument you can't use daily and that's the difference one of the differences between Christian and non-Christian between Christians and, not, and people they don't have Jesus that's the difference people who don't have Jesus in the heart they are also in that, dif in that difficult world here but they don't have the help of the Holy Spirit they don't have the Holy Spirit as a helper in the heart and they, and they even don't have Jesus as helper and Jesus who washed them clean so let's focus today not on the problems comes here down focus on Jesus and his blood to clean <clears throat> and there is one more thing who makes uh, the difference between uh, saved people and not save people there are so many so many strong things you can use you remember the parable of the lost son the parable of the lost son the parable of the lost son you know that uh, that the son who comes back to Jesus he was sinned and come back to Jesus and the father was not angry he was he was seeing him far away he comes towards you to reach you mm. and that's the same Jesus today if, if you want Jesus in the heart you he will you just have to say yes and, and then he comes with his Holy Spirit to make that difference and then you are part of the family and I experience so much the um, host the hostess of the people that I when I come to when I come to Africa everybody offers me something I am in that country a rich man 
Uh, I'm a rich man in that country. But not in my country. And even they shared what they has. Every people I met, they shared something with me. And when you do that, the Father will do that also. So when you come to Jesus and say, Jesus, I am here, you have an access to his fridge, to his storage. And whenever you need something, you can come and say, Papa, Daddy, please give me that. And that's the difference. Because <clears throat> when I go to Pastor's house, he will open the door and let me in. Because, because he knows me now. And I'm a part of the Christian family. And, and he will offer me a wonderful Kenyan tea. And of course some rice or something. I really like that. You know I have an African wife too. So I... I'm used to eat African food. So I will, in, I will enjoy it. But people, they don't know it, uh, Jesus. It's, it's the same with Jesus. When Jesus knows you, He will open the door for you. And you have the access to the whole fridge. To the whole fridge in the house. So whenever you need something, come to Jesus. You never have to ask. You are a son or a daughter of God. And perhaps when you are when you are a grown up. You don't have to ask Jesus, please Jesus. Open your store, open your fridge, I need something to eat, please. You, you don't have to you, you don't have to ask when you need something. Because you are part of the family. So so let Let's, let's proclaim that every day that you are part of the family and that you have access to the fridge of Jesus. The Lord God, He, he built that every, everything here. He built everything here in that area. And if you are a son of God or a daughter of God, you have access to everything here. Because he is the father of the world. So you are not poor. You are rich in the Lord, Jesus Christ. And we, we declare we declare that you are not poor anymore. Don't focus on poverty. Focus on richness. You will be rich in the name of Jesus. He will carry all the sorrows on the cross. And he will make you rich completely. Be ready. If you proclaim the word of God, and if you wash your wash your spirit and your body with the blood of Jesus, you will be never the same. Let's read the scripture. Quick. We go to John. 10.
John 10, 10. You know that scripture is very popular. John 10, 10. The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give you them a rich and satisfying life. God will give you a rich and satisfying life. It's the word of God. It's not the word of Simon Feaster, the pastor here. It's written in John chapter 10, verse 10. That he will give you a rich and satisfying life. You only have to say, yes, Lord, I need that. Say yes in your heart now. Give me an amen. amen. So, please proclaim that every day. Take that verse and proclaim it. I know. In Austria, I would preach a long time about faith. But I saw in the spirit that here in Africa, there are faithful people. We are you, you are, you stand in faith. You stand in faith. And you can proclaim it. And if you have faith, and you proclaim the word, Jesus will do his thing, his promise. God, God never breaks his words. You just have to stand on the words. And whenever you think, oh, I don't have anything. Trust on the Lord. Proclaim the words. And God will provide in the name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I really appreciate to be here. I really have joy that you are sitting here listening. But I am sure that in that service, while I'm preaching, while pastor is praying, while the worship team is leading us, God, God will do a wonderful thing. Be ready. Open your hearts. And I already said yesterday, I come here to drop blessings. And I'm again here to drop blessings today. I said yesterday, I have not really good feet here. I nearly can't walk. And I asked and I, and I ask the, the Lord Jesus Christ why I have to come to Kenya. And he said, you got the blessings from a Kenyan man, Pastor Richard. A few of, a few of you know him. A few, a few of you know him, I think. And now it's time to come here to drop the blessings again here. And I believe God never sends 
people out from Austria. About six hours fly to, to here. We came to Mombasa. Ministering there. Then we drove to Wingy with the best driver in the world. He's sitting here. And we are dropped here. Not here, we started in Wingy. And we come here. I don't know the hours how long we travel in in the whole when you when you sum it up. God is always faithful when he sends people out. He has a plan with you here. We are come here to drop the blessings to you. But not I can do that. I'm just a tool. And just the tool of the Lord. He uses us to drop the blessings here. And so I hope that you are ready today to receive the blessing. Before we close. I just want to remember, I just want to remind you to do three things. To do three things. First, please don't look down when the, when the devil wants to wants to pull you down somewhere. Please only trust Jesus Christ and, and the Holy Spirit because the devil is defeated on the cross. The second one Use the blood of Jesus as a soap and let you wash by Jesus the whole body every day. And the third one, please notice that, that you have access to all things. God owns. So you can take all that. You only have to ask the Father in heaven. And you know when you ask the Father to give you a fish. He is not giving you a stone. He will answer your prayers if you call on the Father. He will, he will give you that what you need. And of course, let me close with one thing because everybody is suffering on Corona crisis here. I believe that only God himself can remove that crisis and he is able to do that but in 2nd Chronicle 714 Second Chronicles 714. Please, ma, ma, please read that at read ma, that read that at home every day. Ma, 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 there is insight. So, ma, 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 the Bible ma, says there. I just uh, remember the saints. If my people comes to me. 
praying, my boy, and going on on the knees. Na maiti malimu ni mo. Seeking my face, my man, the Lord. I will heal the land. So I believe that the more the people of Jesus Christ, the Bible says not that the people who don't know Jesus has to pray or come to Jesus. It's a calling for us, for the children of God, to come to Jesus, to pray, and to seek His face. Then He is going to heal your land. And of course, many people do that all over the world. The world is healed in the name of Jesus. And we are all waiting for it, for healing. But we have to do something. It's our job as a child of God to pray and to seek God's face and come to Him because He knows everything. He knows what you need. He knows all the problems and only He can solve it. The world has doctors, but we have Jesus Christ and His Spirit who knows everything. So don't hesitate to contact Jesus. I uh, I believe that you have the best telephone line to Jesus here. The best telephone line to Jesus here. I know the internet network is not always always good here. But I know something. African people have a great faith. Have a great faith. And faith is the line to heaven directly. So if you have faith, make a call to Jesus every day. Talk to him. Come to him. And he will do healings, miracles, and whatever you need. So I thank you for listening today. Thank you that I have today the opportunity to continue my preaching. And Pastor, you were prophesying that I'm coming back. So I'm, I'm now the second time here. Your prophecies is true. So let's pray and close the preaching. Please stand on your feet. Stand on your feet and pray. We must pray powerfully now. But stretch out your hands and help me to pray. Lord, thank you that you are here. Thank you that you are part of the service. And thank you that you are dropping blessings here. Bless the people. Let miracles take pass. Let healings. Let let deliverance be a part of that service. Lord, as as I preached the word of God, let the people receive what we have for them. Wash them with the blood of Jesus. Wash the whole region. Wash whole Africa with the blood of Jesus. Lord, we want we want something. We want 
hell empty and heaven full. Tu es là à mon mon souhaité. Thank you that you're helping us with the Holy Spirit. To, to see the difference between the devil and Jesus. And Jesus is the winner. So we are the part of the winning team. Let's 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 uh, Let's stretch the hearts to, yeah, to see that you are in the winning team. Lord, let the people feel. Let the people see. Let the people be, be ready. Because they are in the winning team. Open the eyes of the people. Open ears. Open the heart and the spirit. Let the spirit flow in the body of body of Christ in all that people, Lord. In, in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.